I will never forget my friend, my student, my teacher, Herman Whitfield III. Keeping a loved one's memory alive several months after his death while in police custody. Family and friends gathered to make sure Herman Whitfield III will not be forgotten. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amber Grigley. Herman Whitfield III died in IMPD custody back in April. Today would have been his 40th birthday. His parents are suing the city for wrongful death and working to preserve their son's legacy. More now from Kayla Melander. Still feel the emotion of the whole thing, just like it happened yesterday. So we're just coping and holding on. Herman Whitfield III would have turned 40 on Saturday. May the city of Indianapolis remember Herman's name. May the world remember and enjoy his music. The gifted pianist and composer died in IMPD custody in April. At a memorial for his birthday, Whitfield's mother, Gladys, read a statement written by one of her son's friends. As a person, Herman was brilliant, charming, and modest. As a composer, it was apparent to everyone that his work entitled Scherzo No. 2 was a masterpiece. On the night he died, Whitfield was experiencing a mental health crisis and his parents called 911 for help. Steady was tased unnecessarily, brutally thrown to the ground, handcuffed behind his back and kept in that position even after he said he couldn't breathe. The Marion County coroner ruled Whitfield's death a homicide. The family is suing the city and all six officers involved for wrongful death. The family still wants the demands that they have uh, issued at the very beginning of this case for the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department to take accountability for what has happened here. The Whitfields are asking for the full unedited body camera footage to be released publicly, for the officers involved to face appropriate consequences, and for the city to expand emergency mental health services. Let us be clear, Herman Whitfield III is not with us today because our society has criminalized mental health, especially when people of color are the ones needing care. IMPD is, they have always asked the people of the community to stand beside them when there's a crime committed and, and it seems like that should go both ways. I just think the people who promote justice should stand for justice for all. And I just want justice for my son. Working for you, Kayla Molander, WRTV. Kayla, thank you. The Whitfields' case is in the early stages. IMPD has released an edited version of body camera footage from that night. While well, the family is asking for the video in its entirety to be made available publicly. IMPD chose not to comment for this story due to the active court case.